Hello Sag, welcome to the Mean Julia Awakening. My name is Kiana, or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. Your continued support is appreciated here on the Mean Julia Awakening. So guys, I want to go ahead and get the weekly uh, guide and light message, see what's going on with, for the week ahead. Um, guys, here on the Manjula Awakening, we are currently doing a giveaway. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, we are going to go live. Give these three beautiful decks away, as well as answer some free personal questions. So if you guys would like to be entered into that drawing, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. That's it. That's all. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, we are going, or uh, that's it. That's all, you know. Should I stop it or keep going, guys, on that repeat right there? So something may be like a, like, something may be the beginning of something that tried to start out and didn't keep going. You know what I'm saying? We have cause and effect here. So something that wanted to start in the past, something happened and threw it off. So it's like that is getting an opportunity to refresh itself this week. Okay, so, but anyways, the oracle messages that we have right now, and it says, loving myself unconditionally, which when I look down and seen that this is the card, this is why I just didn't delete it. But anyways, it says, today I will work at loving myself unconditionally. God, help me, please let go, or your divine. Divine, please help me let go of self-loathing and other unproductive behaviors. Today, divine. I want to hold myself in high esteem. I know I can I know I can do so with your help. Loving myself unconditionally. And then we have the law of cause and effect. Change your beliefs, change your life. So there's something about oneself that this is about and it, and and I'm feeling something to do with structure. So I, I'm feeling something to do with structure, Sagittarius. Um Excuse me, you know, Sagittarius gets that, um, gets known for really the free spirit of the zodiac. And that kind of gets us known for starting things and not finishing them or not completing them. And so there's something that has been started in the past that you didn't give yourself the credit or believe in yourself to think that you could bring it to full reality. And Spirit is saying you can, but it does require an equal balance of action and planning and receiving, you know, receiving your downloads as it pertains to this situation and then taking action on those downloads and not just setting with it because you think that it's too much or it's too big for little old you to handle. And then it's like in order if it's a big download and it's a big task, you would setting down uh, deadlines here at the bottom of the deck that is saying that it's up to you to structure it that is sometimes the action that is required from you with the receiving of a download the action is sometimes only structuring it and then as you structure it more downloads come that allow you to take the next step and progress forward but something is requiring you to take step by steps baby steps little steps still produce reward all right, spirit. So let's see. <clears throat> this is the guiding light. So what is I'm, I'm going to turn those back over, but it is the four swords in the reverse and the hangman in the reverse. So there's definitely some stagnant energy here. There's uh, some sitting still getting too comfortable energy is what I'm feeling. So let's see, Sagittarius. What is presently occurring in Sagittarius's reality spirit? What is presently occurring? In Sagittarius is reality. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the full card in the reverse, but I flipped it in the reverse, but it fell out on the table, and Spirit is telling me to put it in the upright, so I am. So we have the full card. So I do feel like that there is resistance to taking this leap of faith, but there is an opportunity that is presenting itself, currently presenting itself, uh, damn, let me slow down. An opportunity is currently presenting itself for you, Sagittarius. But there is some resistance to this because of a belief as stories that you are telling yourself. And in order for you to change this, it starts by you um, beginning to love yourself unconditionally and not really entertaining things that keep you unproductive. Unproductive uh, behaviors are really, are really 
stunning your growth right now in Sagittarius, I feel like. But let's see. So we have what needs to be drawn in for Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is about reward for your efforts. But with the Seven of Pentacles here, this is saying that the, the reward is not yet here. This is about patience. This is about understanding that your harvest will come. Uh, and so this is what you need to draw into. So maybe this new beginning that you're, um, that is being presented to you doesn't have immediate gratifications. And let's just be honest, nothing worth having is, comes without its work. You know what I'm saying? You have to work for it. I don't know where this idea, you know, yeah, we get some blessings and we get some uh, grace or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Things that we are not fully deserving of. But baby, what is faith without works? Let me just leave that right there. So, but there, it, and, and that's what you're being asked to draw into right now. You have to understand that what you doing, even though little Sally may be over here at the nail salon and maybe getting the newest shoes and maybe uh, exchanging her hoopty and getting an upgrade on a car and you wondering why you're over here and you're not getting it. Don't worry about that. Stop comparing yourself. Understand that your F, like the reward that you're looking for is more than just a material reward. And because you're looking for something more than just a material reward, you will have that and some. Okay. Yeah. See, with I didn't even notice the Queen of Wands being here at the bottom of the deck. This is about being confident. This is about that charis charismatic, you know, care. Uh, Charisma, thank you, Spirit. That charisma that can carry you through the, the 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 ebbs and the flows of life because you have that confidence, knowing I know what I'm fighting for. You know what I'm saying? Um, I may be, I may be in college, working two jobs, studying, and you know what I'm saying. And I don't have the scholarships, or, or I don't have the parent that's that's putting the extra money on my. Uh, in my park pocketbook so you know what i'm saying i'm struggle life through college but i know what i'm i know what the end result is for me that's the energy that sagittarius is being called to draw into what needs to be released here for sagittarius absolutely sometimes you know it just all makes sense when it all makes sense the the magician in the reverse this is that energy of manipulating yourself out of what out of your true resources by not believing that and not sticking to and standing your ground that you know what it is that you're fighting to it's you're essentially giving your power away and therefore you're not seeing your true abilities manifest in because of this cause of effect change the belief change your life change your belief change your life and so that's what's really needed here because with the magician in the reverse, you're not believing that you have the resources. You're not um, manifesting with the highest vibration right now. And because you're manifesting in low or, you know, you're thinking in low vibrations, therefore you're manifesting in low vi vibration. So you're shortchanging yourself here. Actually, I do want to do one thing. I do want to see what this new beginning is because this is what's presently occurring, right? So I do want to look at this because, I, like I said, I do feel like that there is some resistance to it. Spirit did drop it on the table in the upright. I flipped it up in the reverse. So let's look at this. What is this full card, Spirit? What is this new beginning that is presently occurring for Sagittarius that requires a change in the belief? An embracing of oneself unconditionally, balancing out the masculine and the feminine energy, and setting a structured schedule in order to bring this to reality. So, ooh, the two of wands, the six of wands in the reverse is then the challenging position. We have the three of cups and the eight of swords in the reverse. Look here, you got to set yourself free from this six, from this fear of something not working. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you're looking out into the future with the, well, what if it doesn't work? Well, what if this happens? Well, when the last time when I tried this, this failed, you have to set yourself free from that mindset because there was celebrate, there was 
something to celebrate in that past failure. And worst case scenario, let's just say you take this leap of faith and it doesn't turn out the way that you expect it to. And it is quote unquote a failure because it's not what you envision for yourself. There's still something inside of that to celebrate. And that's the thing that will set you free. Like, so whatever happens here, this is to get you to release from a mindset that keeps you restricted. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this mindset has, has been taking your power away and this eight of swords in the reverse. I'm glad that I seen this in the, in the reverse, because it really is saying this is taking control of a situation and choosing to empower yourself, Sagittarius. So this a new beginning that you're resistant to is going to empower you, but you must first change your mindset in which you look to the future and stop basing it off of the past. generosity i am abundant love change me divine beloved into one who can easily send blessings to all even those filled with negativity or fear may i shower the planet with love knowing there is an unlimited ocean within me absolutely um so it says noun here at the bottom of the deck in the holy place in the holy space between Allow me, divine beloved, to rest in the holy space between what is and what will be. Let me fully embrace and relax. Embrace, relax, and bless the noun. Absolutely. That goes back to that, what was being said a few moments ago when I have to stick to what I know I'm doing this for. And even if you are in that, in that in-between space, it is still blessed and it is still full and it is still overflowing it still has a lot to offer you there uncertainty yes yes lord i love when the messages wrap together it's let me deeply trust may i live in the noun and relax peacefully into the unfolding knowing all the pieces of the puzzle will fall into place at the right time and not a moment before Man, I love it, y'all. I love it, Sag. I love it. Look how that just wrapped up. The pieces literally just fell into place here in this reading. So Sagittarius, the guiding light message for this week is saying that presently occurring pieces of the puzzle are falling into the place. Change your mindset so that they can f so that they can fall in and adjust ease more easily so that there's less resistance to these puzzle pieces coming in. Change your mindset as you're looking to the future because something beautiful is definitely unfolding right here before our eyes, Sagittarius. Y'all watch this reading. I pulled all these cards on the camera. Something is unfolding beautifully. I'm getting chills right now, Sagittarius. Ooh, I am sending you guys lots of love and light and encouragement. I pray that you guys are standing in good faith this week because something beautiful is trying to come in, guys. If you have resonated or find it got found guidance in this message, don't forget to hit that like button down below, guys. Thank you, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we do have meditate and contemplate. Bring yourself into awareness with your present self and with your higher self. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So there's definitely some raw emotions coming in that are, that, that, you know what I'm saying? When we're speaking on Mars, the challenge for Mars is to harness that raw emotion and mold it into what is useful and beneficial for you. And it is going to require you to step out of your comfort zone, step into your north node, find out what your north node is and see what that north node life purpose is and see what this present energy that you're currently in, see how you can relate it to that north node energy and begin to mold your yourself so that you can handle whatever environment you're set into because you're not always going to know. But if you continuously work on yourself in the noun, then by golly, you got it, Sag. I pray that this message offered you some guidance on your journey this week, Sagittarius. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace.
Love and Light Sag.